And let's go back to the story about the new Patriotic Party uh, supporters who are saying that they will demonstrate until they see a uh, difference in their lives. Addressing a press conference at the Jubilee Park on Wednesday, executives of the identifiable groups within the ruling New Patriotic Party threatened to mar the upcoming National Delegates Conference with a massive demonstration to drum home their concerns. According to them, despite their efforts in helping the party win the 2016 and 2020 general elections, they have been neglected. They also allege that some senior members of the party have been a stumbling block on their path and they will not tolerate such anymore. They however called on both national and regional executives of the party to, as a matter of urgency, address their concerns. <laughs> We have done a lot for this party and we are expecting something meaningful. We haven't seen anything. We have our colleagues who are not working up to date as I'm talking. A lot of people have gotten a lot of jobs. They have gotten a lot of jobs, but now as I'm talking, none of us have received even a contract. I'm waiting up to Friday. If you don't hear anything, you will hit the street. My concern is uh, we uh, identifiable groups, you took us from grassroots, but now I know they have regret us. They don't know us. We can not go to, to uh, the, the elder peoples. We cannot, we cannot contact them. Even we cannot even call them. They will not, they will not, they will not take your, your, your phone. No, the government has crossed eight years before. Now you want to set that record. You should do extra, extra work. Not like this. You forgot everybody, you forgot your grassroots. You say you are go going to cross, uh, cro cross uh, uh, break eight. It will never, never happen. And in response to the calls by someone identified that groups within the new patriotic party to demonstrate like you rightly watch and the communications uh, director Yao Boabe Asamo says there aren't enough job opportunities to employ everybody in the country who needs assistance and in his view the new patriotic party must however build structures to support party foot soldiers. But this is what we are seeing now expression. Uh, before, it used to be focused on these winning elections. Mm -hmm. Now, in between elections, you have a situation where more and more people from within the parties themselves are expressing dissonant views from the leadership and otherwise, different groups seeking different things. I think it's a, a general mutation of politics that we must take account of. And it's focused on jobs, essentially, opportunities, jobs. But clearly, uh, there aren't enough opportunities to go around everybody. And in the nature of our nation, it is clear that you can't have MPP uh, only accessing opportunities or otherwise. We are running a country. So, so first of all, it's important that we recognize the general participatory nature of things, that more and more people are coming up, ready and willing to express themselves. We mustn't see it as disloyalty. Okay. If you're not careful, you think that they are disloyal or otherwise. But as part of their need is engagement, uh, reaching out to them, letting them understand the situation we're faced with, and getting them on board whatever processes we are trying to do to alleviate their need, which is jobs.